Okay, welcome back to our channel. And uh, we have on our screen an exercise that uh, we need to find if there is any feedback in the circuit as shown and if there is one, what is its type? Whether it is a current series feedback, current shunt feedback, voltage series feedback or voltage shunt feedback. There are four types of feedback we've seen before. So first, before analyzing the concept of feedback, let us understand what is this circuit. So what you see, you have a transistor Q1 and Q2. Uh, there are three pins, collector, base, and the emitter for both of these transistors. Okay, and you see from the collector of transistor Q1, you have a register R3 all the way connected to the positive supply. Emitter is grounded here and to the base through R4, we have this external applied AC signal source. So we need an amplification of this signal at the output which is taken from the collector of this transistor. So this is clearly biased in common emitter mode, where the input side of this transistor is between base and the emitter, and the output side of this transistor is between collector and the emitter. So emitter is common. Now, output of the first stage is given as an input to the second stage, to the base of this transistor Q2. Okay, the collector of this transistor is tied to the positive supply through the register R2 and the emitter of this transistor Q2 is tied to the negative power supply V- minus through register R1. Okay, and the second stage is also if the base emitter junction is... Uh, well, not the base emitter junction. Second stage uh, of this amplifier is also common emitter stage because you have applied input between base and uh, base and the emitter, and you have output. Let's say you take an output from here, the final output V O. Then from collector to the ground or to the emitter, actually, the, from collector to the emitter, uh, you have an output stage. Okay, now what is noted here from this junction, actually, you take this voltage, apply it across R5, convert it into a current, and that current is being is being added at this point, is being mixed at, it, at this point along with the current coming from this end. So let me write it. So you have input voltage source due to which you have the current I in, that current is flowing through R4 that is coming here. And then you have the voltage at this node that because of that, the current I, let's say I5, flows through this register R5, and that current is coming here. So here the current is I in, here the current is I5, and the current here is the base current. So you can write IB is equal to I5 plus I in. That's the first current, okay? And the feedback that you have used through this register R5 is called as uh, current shunt feedback. So it's basically you are sensing the current, okay? You are basically using this R5 to convert this voltage at this node to the current which is I5, and then you are shunting that or mixing that current with the I in here. So it's basically you have this uh, two currents right here. So that is I in and I5. Okay. Now you have this voltage, let's say VC1, that becomes input to this transistor. 
And if you take an output from this node, or you can take also output from this node, let's call it as a VO2, let's call it as a VO1. Okay, depends which uh, portion you want. So there is this current shunt feedback that we analyzed. With the beta of the transistors given for Q1 and Q2, you can calculate uh, all the input voltages with the supply voltage values given. So we have done that in previous models. So the objective of this model is to help you understand how to analyze this circuit and identify the feedback and its type here. So hope you understood this uh, module. And if you did so, like and share with others. Stay tuned for more.